Hello, everyone. Uh, yeah, about the panel and modeling of a single lap, single board uh, joint in composite laminates. Uh, let's go to the parts first. Um, so you can see here uh, the part is bolt and nut in this uh, study, and the bolt and nut is considered a single part. You can see here this is the bolt head, um, bolt head, this is the bolt pin, and this is the nut. Uh, the other parts are plate bottom and the joint. This is the bottom plate. Uh, washers, bottom washer and top. Uh, I'll show you the assembly afterwards. Properties um, and the properties are like uh, bolt and nut. This is a this is made of titanium. Wood uh, plus plastic and poison ratio are there. Similarly, this is the property of GFRP in um, uh, anisotropic material properties. Uh, similarly, these are steel wassers are considered. These are the material property of wassers. Uh, these are the uh, sections, section manual sections, and how this is the assignment in each of each part. After that, assembly. You can see here the assembly is proper here. Top plate, bottom plate, bolt, washer is the nut, bottom washer. Okay. So to assembly, let's go to step here. The preload is provided. Uh, preload means uh, we are applying a pretension in the bolt along the axis of the bolt. So this is the step increment. Then uh, I'll tell you about the magnitude afterwards. Uh, this is also called bolt tightening torque. Uh, this is the load applied uh, step where uh, tension load is applied in terms of displacement. This is the step increment. And then there are basically two steps. After step, let's go to interaction. Here, um, the contact between different parts are uh, defined. Um, bolt, pin, and plate. You can see here. How the bolt pin and plate are um, contacted, uh, where master surface is bolt pin surface and slip surface plate hole surface. This is the coefficient of friction uh, details. I'll uh, I'll explain you afterwards. Um, similarly, bottom plate was set. You can see here bottom plate and was set connected here. Okay, so. Similarly, this is bottom washer and nut, uh, plate to plate. Two plates are contacted in this uh, definition. Top plate to washer, and top washer to bolt. This bolt head. Okay. Uh, now, how the coefficient of friction is defined? We can define the coefficient of friction here for the type of contact. You can see here. Um, there is the contact between bolt to plate hole, and the uh, hard contact is provided, and tangential behavior with coefficient of friction 0.1 is provided. Similarly, plate to plate, the coefficient of friction is considered as 0.45, plate to washer is considered as 0.3, and washer to bolt nut is considered as 0.1. Uh, next here this is the load node equation. Load equation, I will I'll come to it later. This is provided um, to distribute a particular uh, node load uh, throughout the surface. How I will tell that. So let's go to load. Uh, uh, here first we need to provide a bolt load, which is the bolt tightening torque. This is created in the preload step. Um, what is the period of 362 Newton? This is also known as uh, which can be calculated. The torque is 0.5 Newton meter, which which uh, describes a finger tight condition of mm, in bolt connection. Mm, this is modified in this load step, fixing the current, fixing at current level. Okay, this is the bolt load. So let, let's now fixing it. Uh, this is uh, fixed node. Uh, you can see here. We have fixed in the surface. Uh, I'm restricting now the three directions with the fixed support. And 
are applying we are applying uh, displacement of 0.5 mm at this particular node you can see here uh, you can it will depend on you how much displacement you want to provide so now this particular load node is distributed uniformly using the load equation that I showed you in the interaction module. I will show you again. This is BW0 means the, we are restricting the moment of this particular surface uh, along y and z direction. We are only providing displacement along x direction. So U2, U3 we are restricting. Given is, um, uh, this is the load node. Uh, how this is done? I will how the, this is distributed throughout the um, surface. This is done in the by providing a load equation, um, load equation which the load is distributed along the nodes in this particular surface. So load network equation is over. Uh, load is over. Let's go to mess. Uh, messing. Um, you can see here. Uh, Near the near the hole, there means there will be denser missing because the stress concentration in this particular area is more. Uh, the missing should be uniform like this throughout the uh, model. After missing, I will make separate video only for missing. Missing, let's go to job. You have to submit it. After submitting, it, it might take around. Um, how much time? Then around two to three hours. If proper messing is done, um, uh, then you can go to results and see here uh, the stresses. One is stresses. This is 1.4 gigapascal. Um, this is maximum in the upper here in the red, red red portion area. Here the maximum stresses are found. Okay. okay. Uh, similarly, you can, uh, you can see the how this is modeled. And other stresses like along S11, along X direction, along Y direction, everything you can find out here. Uh, similarly, you can find the maximum displacement also. Along U3 direction. You can see here maximum displacement is found, displacement is found in this uh, nodes like elements, um, the red person area. So this is a handle modeling for the board connection. Thank you.